Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros. And today we are starting a brand new series. We're actually going to be benchmarking graphics cards on the same system to see is it worth buying placeholder graphics card in 2022. And today we have the GTX 760, a card that comes in at around $100 or a little bit less on the used market. Is it a good placeholder option for your high-end gaming PC while you wait on those new shiny graphics cards? Well, we're about to find out, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Natac and their high performance DDR4 desktop memory with support for XMP 2.0 overclocking to support its speeds up to 3200 MHz and strong heat dissipation to handle those frequencies. This RAM kit also features beautiful RGB to color coordinate your setup and is approved to work exceptionally with the four major motherboard manufacturers, Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. Learn more about Natac and their new RGB DDR4 desktop memory by checking the link in the description below and special thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. So we're about to get as about as scientific as the Toaster Bros get. We picked up this GTX 760 off of eBay for around $100. So we're really going to be hammering the price versus performance in this video because of course you can buy the new shiny RTX 3060, but if you're paying six to $700 for it versus $100 on this, is it really worth spending an extra $600? Well, we're gonna find out for you. So what I'm gonna have to do is Jackson install this graphics card in our test bench. We'll talk about our test bench here in a second and go over some of the main key specs of a GTX GTX 760 that you may pick up and decide whether or not it's worth it, then dive into some benchmarking. So real quick, right before Matt reads off the specs of the beautiful GTX 760, for the actual test bench here, we have a Ryzen 5600G 6 core 12 thread, pretty comparable to a 5600X. We have 16 gigs of PNY Accelerate RAM at 3600 megahertz, dual channel, a one terabyte team group NVMe SSD, a Asus Tough B550 Gaming uh, 2, and then we have a really nice XPG 650 watt power supply that is modular all inside of this beautiful deep cool full tower case with these awesome RGB fans. And now Matt's gonna tell you guys about that card while I install it. Now the GTX 760 has 1,152 CUDA cores, a 980 megahertz base clock and a 1,033 megahertz boost clock with two gigs of VRAM. Now the main idea behind this graphics card is it's gonna be a little bit better than the really cheap uh, budget king, the 750 Ti and also it's uh, not much more expensive. 750 Ti's right now, because they're pretty well known, are well over $100. So getting this card at under $100 or right at that $100 mark will give you a little extra performance and it's a good placeholder option. Now the only drawback is two gigs of VRAM. Some higher end games may not work very well with two gigs of VRAM, but from our testing, it probably will be perfectly fine for games like Fortnite and Jackson can definitely make sure you put it in the right <laughs> slot there this time. Um, but yeah, we picked up the 760 because it's budget friendly. Um, in terms of uh, comparisons to other GPUs, you are looking at about 10 FPS less than like a 962 gig, which right now goes for about $180 on the used market. And then in comparison to something like a newer really budget card, a GTX 1650, you're looking about 80% less in terms of performance, which is a significant difference. But in terms of price to performance, the 1650s right now, sometimes on the scalper market, go all the way up to like $400. So you're paying almost four times as much as you would this card. So the performance, uh, price performance variable there is, uh, well, definitely there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this card installed and we're going to test it in esports titles and also show its weakness in some higher end games and uh, continue the same test throughout multiple graphics cards. And if you guys want to let us know down below which ones you want to see us test in the future, let us know. And uh, once we do test those, we'll start having some data to compare what the best price performance card is for a placeholder PC. And look at that, Boom. it's installed. It looks beautiful, doesn't Boom. it? But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do, boot up this PC, test it in some games, and we'll see how she performs. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we have this GTX 760 all booted up in our test bench and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now, we side to this PC in a couple of titles, those being Fortnite, Forza Horizon 5, Apex Legends, and Warzone. Of course, with this being the first benchmark video we're doing on the channel, we want to know what you guys want to see tested in future benchmark runs so we can easily compare graphics cards at similar prices. So let me know down below. Now, first up in Fortnite on performance mode at 1080 
1080p, we averaged 100 plus FPS. Yes, of course, Fortnite is very CPU dependent when it is in performance mode, and it's really not much of a GPU test, but there is still a little bit of usage going on here with the GTX 760, and if you are just building a budget PC and you don't have the luxury of integrated graphics like you have a 10th Gen i5 or something of that nature, you're going to need something to be able to play Fortnite, and as you can see right here, you're getting pretty decent results. And also, you all just go crazy in the comment section if I didn't test Fortnite because, well, you all are crazy for Fortnite. Next up in Forza Horizon 5, which is a new game, and you're going to start to see some of the struggles of the 700 series card. We only got about 17 FPS using the built-in benchmark, and even at 720p when we dropped it down, we were only getting about 20 plus FPS. This is where the 760 is going to struggle. Any modern new title that gets regular updates, after a period of time, this card is just not going to work with those games because of the lack of driver support. Last October, NVIDIA dropped all driver support for 600 and 700 series so the last driver you have is from october of 2021 so after that point any major update where normally you would get a game ready driver or any new game that drops that you would get a game ready driver for you're not going to get any sort of optimizations on these cards so if you have like a higher end like 780 ti i'd say in air quotes 780 ti is higher end uh, nowadays it's more of a budget friendly card but if you have one of those higher end cards it, it's raw power should be able to run these newer games on lower settings just because it's a more powerful GPU but these budget cards like a 750 Ti and 760 are definitely going to struggle and as you can tell from Forza Horizon 5 it's pretty much unplayable even at 720p. Now next up is Apex Legends at 1080p on low settings. We average about 50 to 60 FPS. Apex Legends would definitely be a game I would run at like 1600 by 900 with the GTX 760 and you could probably get a lock 60 FPS but this is in arenas mode which is normally less demanding than the main game so do keep that in mind arenas is just much easier for us to stay consistent with but 50 to 60 fps is definitely playable and i would say it passes for a good option if you're just looking to play apex or fortnite or games like that and you really just want something to hold you over before you could buy your shiny brand new rtx 3060 or uh 6600 xt from amd this might be a decent little placeholder option if you're just looking to play those games now the last game we decided to test was Warzone at 1080p using 66% resolution scale which is what it defaulted to and we only averaged about 30 to 40 FPS. I really do think the main drawbacks of this graphics card is the driver support because of a game like Warzone that is regularly getting updated and literally is getting like graphics driver updates just for it from Nvidia because it's such a popular game. Um, getting updated drivers would definitely fix this graphics card and allow it to perform a little bit better but also it's that 2 gig of VRAM. 2 gigs of VRAM in higher end games just doesn't cut it because as you can tell from MSI Afterburner when we're actually running these benchmarks this GPU is getting pushed to its absolute limits. It's not necessarily an optimization thing where the GPU is just not being used at all and it's just sitting there idle and giving us bad performance. It's getting pushed to its limits and I do expect that. It is an older card um, but in recap the GTX 760 it's an interesting card. If you can pick it up under $100 and all you're looking for is is a very very basic placeholder card that allows you to play games like Apex, Fortnite, Minecraft, Rainbow Six Siege would probably be a good option for this graphics card. Um, any sort of basic esports title at 60 FPS then you should be perfectly fine but if you're gonna go the route of copying this test bench you're probably better off just going with the 5600G integrated graphics and waiting until you can buy a graphics card later so but yeah let me know what you think of this card in the comment section down below and let me know what graphics card you guys are rocking and or if you've considered picking up a 760 for a budget build and also if you want us to do a really really cheap pc using the 760 let me know down below after all these benchmark runs if we get a lot of support for the graphics card we'll probably do a budget pc build using it in the near future and also let us know what other graphics cards you want to see us test here on the channel how about i bring jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this GTX 762 gig, and it was a really good card for under 100 bucks or around 100 bucks. So make sure you check the link in the description down below. They will be affiliate links. We'll try to get as many as we possibly can so that you can have every source possible to get yourself a 760. And if you guys have any suggestions for future games to add to the benchmark rotation for these benchmark videos, let me know down below. I'm trying to perfect that benchmark rotation so we test every single possible game for you budget gamers out there looking to pick up a budget card like the 760. 
60. And uh, yeah, again, link in the description down below. Beautiful links and those help us out. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other TV YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And if you guys don't want to have to go through the hassles of trying to buy a card, making sure it works, testing the whole system, building it, making it look good, we have an answer for you. PCBros.tech, we don't make you get placeholder GPUs. We let you get some really awesome graphics cards and really awesome PCs for great prices. Check out our website, PCBros.tech, or come in person into our store at Louisville, Kentucky. See you guys later. Goodbye.